Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to GIS World channel. Today I would like to show you how to do the join and the special join in QGIS. So let's start. First of all, as you see, I already added the uh, states of Germany uh, shape file and city of the Germany which uh, contains the 16 feature and this one contains the 42 features and here is the information status which is uh, for the special join in the next step and uh, let's start. So, first of all, as you see state of the Germany, let me just open the attribute table. We have some kind of you know, information and here I already add the used car, which is the uh, extra information regarding the, for example, in the Germany, Baden-Württemberg state, they are using mostly the Benz, BMW and other brands. So, and here in the city of Germany, actually, if I open that, you see we have the name of the uh, states and name of the city, but we do not know um, what kind of car are used in this city. We know in which state, but we would like to you know extend it to the city. So what should we do right now? We said using the join. So first of all, you must uh, go here and in the properties, and in the properties we have here uh, the panel, and we will go to the join. So by add new join and here you must uh, choose uh, to which layer to be joined and you would like to join to the uh, states of Germany and the join field here is the name and target field is the name one. So here is very important. It's like a, a primary key and the foreign key and the name of the column must be same which is uh, which are joined together. And here we have some option cache join layer in the memory, yes. Uh, create, uh, uh, create attribute index on join field and dynamic form. This option allows value of the join field to be automatically reloaded when the target field is changed. So it means if you change something into your uh, layer, it will be automatically updated in the new layer. Maybe you can just uh, check in an editable join layer if you would like to join uh, edit uh, the join layer later on it's a very important option and here is a very nice join field for example some of those are not um, important maybe you can uh, just uh, you know remove it and choose uh, the important one and here is the custom field name prefix for example you can by activating this one it will be you know first of all it will be written the states of germany and after that the name of the joint layer so it means here you can change whatever you like by okay and apply and just okay and if you go right now to the city of the germany so we must see the used car in each city so if i go here let me just show you the name of the column here and so you see a state of the germany uh, used car here and you see for each uh, uh, city right now we know what kind of uh, car are using so it was a, uh, one of the you know usage of the join in uh, qjs Let's continue with the special join. So for example, here we have the city of Germany and we have the uh, 42 uh, cities uh, features here and we have information status here. If I just activate it in each city, we have a point with some extra information. And if I just open this uh, attribute for, for example, we have the type to some information regarding, for example, this is the administrative part of this city or a state federal or some other information it's it's up to your project what kind of project and it can be here some kind of information like a population and some other information so so it means in this uh, layer this is a point and if, if you see here it's, it's a point uh, format and here we have the polygon but we would like to take this information from here and later on, if I just open the attribute table here, we would like to have at the end, uh, end of this uh, attribute uh, table, two ex uh, one extra um, column with the type two information. So let's uh, start. So if I just uh, go here in the vector 
menu toolbar and data management tool join attribute by location and just by clicking okay city of germany i would like to make a join layer with the information status okay here is very important uh, why because it's a geometric uh, predict and in some cases because we have the intersection overlap contains within equals for example if they are equal just taking this uh, join method or touch if for example it's uh, mostly for the lines and polygon if they are touch or cross each other and just taking so it's very important and here it's uh, seems it, the point is inside the uh, polygon maybe we can uh, contains or region would be both of them uh, would be nice field to add okay we do not have uh, anything to add and join type this is a very important part so first of all uh, create a separate uh, feature for each matching feature one to many um, but I will show you in the next and take attribute of first matching feature only one to one we will use this one and this one and take attribute of feature with largest overlap only it's for for example if you have two polygons would be nice if uh, the largest part and um, you have the more overlap so let's start with the one to one and here for example you have some some option is up to you discard record with could not be joined if there is a problem or a uh, joint layer uh, hope so where to be safe so we will just use it and create a temporary layer and uh, so let's run and you see if i just come here the join layer must be the if i just go here show feature count must be exactly the, the same and uh, like uh, this uh, layer 42 feature and if i just open attribute table so at the end you see we have the type 2 column here because it it, it was taken from the uh, point layer with this information and it seems completely correct so let's start to do the one to many join type which is very important and i will explain to you what does it mean so let's just make this one off and this one off so it means if you see we have states of germany here and we have information status if i just open again the states of germany we do not have any information regarding the type 2 we would like to have and after that but here we have the 16 feature and here we have the 42 feature so it means if i just show if you here uh, if you see here for example we have the um, one state and we have instead of one point we have four points inside and each point has uh, uh, have different information uh, information in the type 2 uh, column for example this one may be administrative this one is a federal estate or some some other information so it means with the, the end result uh, from, uh, from the one to many joint we must have uh, 42 uh, uh, layers and uh, I will show you so if I just go here again to the vector and data management to join attribute by location so we would like to the state of Germany with the information status and here again contains Sweden uh, and if I just come here one too many exactly and just again run so if I just close this one joint layer must be 42 exactly and if i just make this one uh, off so if i just open the, uh, the attribute table you see right now the type 2 has been added in this uh, join uh, layer and if i just come here so uh, he, here join layer and by clicking here just and if I just you see right now we have one two three four uh, information in this uh, this uh, state so why because we have the four point inside and each point uh, has the different information and if I just click again for example in the, the, the 
one of the those point so for example the type 2 is the administrative and another point it is possible but here again administrative and here is administrative I mean here and if you see again type 2 administrative so it's up to your project it is possible to be to be changed and so on so for example if I come here we had just one point inside one polygon so it, it's uh, the algorithm is like a one-to-one -one, uh, join type but if I just click here you see we have just one and after that the type 2 here is the state federal but here if you see how many points we have inside these states is the Bayern 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and if I just click here, we have the seven points with the seven uh, different uh, information uh, uh, in the attribute uh, column, the, the type. And if I just click here, so you see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it is possible each type here to be something else with the next one. So this is the meaning of the one to many joints. So I hope you enjoyed from this video. Uh, it, it's uh, somehow the it's not a really complicated topic, but it's it needs time to be you know a little to be trained and to do with this, so some some different data set or project. And if you face any problem or if you have any question, please write down in the comment section, and we will answer you as soon as possible. Please do not forget to subscribe our channel and do the like and. Uh, share with your friend and see you next time. Bye